Hello, thanks for joining us for another Molly Motorsports Piston Tech presentation. In this segment, we will be taking a more in-depth look at failure analysis as we try to give you a glimpse into some of the tools and techniques we use when evaluating returned parts. Today, we will be continuing our discussion on failure analysis by looking at seizure due to overheating. Part of a piston's job is to transfer the heat from the combustion chamber to the cooling system. This cooling system could be liquid cooled or air cooled as you see here. The heat transfer starts in the crown and will be transferred to the cooling system via the piston rings and the piston skirt. There will also be some heat transfer to the wrist pin and some heat transfer to the oil from either splash, splash lubrication or oil squirters. Under normal operating conditions, the piston can transfer this heat and maintain an adequate clearance between the piston and the cylinder wall and maintain an adequate lubrication film. In the case of seizure due to overheating, the piston is not able to transfer this excessive heat to the cooling system, which results in insufficient clearance and a breakdown of the lubrication film. This will result in seizure marks that have a dark discoloration and deep gouges where material is pulled out of the piston and transferred to the cylinder walls. Scuffing can start on the piston skirt, just one or both. As you can see here, we have scuffing on just on one skirt, and this piston has scuffing on both skirts. <clears throat> this will depend some on where the scuffing or the overheating has taken place. For example, if you have elevated temperature in the combustion chamber, the scuffing may also start on just the top land before the skirt. If the scuffing is on the piston skirt, the contact might be the heaviest over the skirt struts due to the uneven expansion of the piston. Some of the signs that you may be or are starting to experience seizure due to overheating are engine coolant temperature is excessively high, loss of power of the, or the engine is straining to run, or complete engine seizure. Let's look at some of the causes for overheating that can lead to seizure. <clears throat> If you have excessively high engine operating temperatures for an extended period of time, this can lead to seizure. Cooling system failure, which could include your system was not completely filled with coolant, you have an air pocket in the cooling system, thermostat malfunction, faulty water pump, coolant fan malfunction, or you have a slipping or broken belt. Oil film breakdown due to high engine coolant temperature you have faults in the combustion process leading to elevated temperatures. If equipped with oil squirters, these could be bent or blocked or possibly broken off. And on air-cooled engines, dirt deposits on the exterior of the cylinder, you have broken coolant fins, or you have something restricting the airflow to the cylinder. Now that we've looked at what seizure due to overheating is and some of the causes, let's look at some of the ways to prevent this seizure. Ensure that your engine cooling system is sufficient for your application. Use a high quality oil that is less likely to break down under excessive heat. And ensure that your fuel octane rating and your ignition timing are correct for your application to avoid faults in the combustion process which will lead to elevated temperatures. So in summary, if your piston is unable to transfer the excessive heat to the cooling system, it will result in insufficient clearance and a breakdown of the lubrication film, which will lead to scuffing and eventual seizure. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow us on Facebook and YouTube for more Piston Tech videos.